YouTube, this is Cody here, and I thought I'd make this little video because my P or not a sling uh, molted. You can see that's her molt right there, and the spider's on top of it right here. Um, yeah, I need, I know, I need to cut my nails. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's not a very good view of her because this uh, jar isn't very uh, see-through. So let's see if I can open the lid and get a get a better view of her. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's her with her molt right there. Um, make a video of her later on when she's out, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best I can do right now. But, uh, she's getting pretty big, probably about an inch and a half in leg span now, but uh, as you can see that red, the really red legs, she just molted. She's uh, really pretty and she's put on a lot of size since her last molt. So uh, yeah, it's pretty late here. It's about 12:30 at night. So I'm gonna see what uh, what else is out and about in my tarantula collection. I did give one tarantula a new home here. Uh, this is my C uh, yeah, Cyclosternum fasciatum, the Costa Rican tiger rump. Uh, I misnamed her last time when she was in my last video. I said she was a Venezuelan southern tiger, but uh, she's the Costa Rican tiger rump. Uh, I was a little tired then. Um, uh, yeah, I just put her in here, put her web in there. Uh, Hopefully she likes it. It's a bit smaller than the last enclosure, but she's a pretty small tea. So uh, she wasn't one this large, but I think this one, uh, it's about half the size and I think it suits her better and I think she'll be a little bit more comfortable in there. Olive Keel Flat Rock Scorpion is out like it always is, just chilling on its rock. Um, I actually this is the oldest invert that I have in my collection. I got it from a good friend of mine, Tegan. Uh, traded it for, I don't even remember what. But uh, yeah, I got her from him and uh, never molted in my care. I've had her for about two, two and a half years. And uh, yeah, she's uh, doing pretty well still. B yeah. Albiceps still needs to molt. Um, my Trino Chelis Marinus. Uh, Orange bamboo and tarantula. Oh, straight to threat posture there. As soon as I open the lid, but she's uh, out. Just getting a little drink from her water bowl. But uh, as you can see, she's not very happy about me opening her lid. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. B baggins still doing. Well, there's the big uh, Lassiodo or Parahibana, probably going to molt soon. Uh, last molt was inconclusive, whether male or female, so I'm really hoping that uh, turns out to be a female, because uh, it would be really awesome to have a big female LP. Let's take a look here. There's the Salmopoas Armenia, the Venezuelan sun tiger just making a uh, bigger kind of burrow area. I misnamed this one on my last video too. I said it was the Nandu Chromatis, but this is a uh, Nandu Tripepi, probably a two inch leg span, little guy still. My remaining Lassiodora Parahibana sling has made a nice little burrow area. That's, that's the spiderling right there. Um, G. Rosea sling still doing well. Let's see if nothing else is really out here. Uh, oh, except for her. This is my pumpkin patch, just up on the wall of our enclosure. No, nope, not out. And that looks like uh, that's everybody who's out. So uh, yeah, this is Cody, and uh, I'll make a. Oh, dryer's done. Make a video of my P or not, a little better one, a little later on when she's uh, out and about not to hide her little web area. So uh, anyways, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day.